Change your life with small habits in 2024. Let's get started. So I'm going to be honest, the meaning of the video is break up at 4, drink 4 liters of water, exercise for 4 hours, and read 400 pages a day. That's it. You can watch another video. You're still here? Well, thanks for staying because that sounds very unrealistic. I don't do that as well and I don't want you to do that either. So um, in this video, we'll be talking about real habits real small habits that changed my life in 2024 in like 20 days or something and it's gonna help you to change your life as well so let's get started for those who don't know me i'm nigina sophomore at the university of minnesota studying journalism and originally i'm from uzbekistan central asia on this channel we talked about studying abroad student life abroad traveling and self-development so if you want to join the community welcome so the first thing I do is drinking juice every single morning on an empty stomach. So what I basically do is I have either raisin water or dried apricot water. These are very useful because I have very low uh, amount of blood cells. And this is the reason why I went to the hospital over the summer. I don't want it to happen again. So I gotta drink that uh, every single morning on an empty stomach. So what I do basically is I get a dried apricot or raisin and then I just pour some water, of course after washing them, I just pour some water and then I make it like soak over the night and when my body wants some water I drink these instead of just normal water. So basically what they do is they purify the blood, they stimulate the liver functions, they eliminate toxins from my body and of course it's gonna help me with eyesight and it promotes gut and it promotes healthy gut as well. So to be honest you just have to drink these in the morning. Oh my god, it's so so good. It's so good. It's so delicious. Better than Coke. Better than Sprite. Whatever. Name it. But this is the bad thing. Please, please, please try that if you want to be healthy in this year. So the next habit is going to be reading before sleeping. I didn't say just reading. I said reading before sleeping. Please pay attention carefully. So no matter how tired I am, no matter where I am, I just read a few pages not like 50 pages not like 100 pages yes sometimes i read those pages whenever i'm like so obsessed with the book but sometimes i just read a few pages because you know during the evening you'll be just constantly involved with the well at least i am i'll be like doing those homework and then like uh, on social media talking to my parents or like so i will be surrounded by the devices all the time during the evening so when it comes to the night i want my mind to rest a little bit and whenever i i, I I actually tested something whenever I read before sleeping and I wake up in the morning, I feel more energized. My mind is much clearer compared to uh, when I don't read before sleeping. So I highly, highly recommend you guys to sleep before reading. So I highly, <laughs> so I highly recommend you guys to read before sleeping. It's going to help you a lot. And you will just see the change in the morning. It happened really? crazy because I've been with these devices all the time and then like I've been writing the scripts and stuff so I'm a little tired right now. I think I read a book. Yeah. I look so smart, right? Do you think I look so smart? Maybe I am. So I'm, I am so smart. Who knows? But I look so smart from the video. This is your reminder to like the video and subscribe because that's the way how other people will see my video as well. I want more people to watch this video, so please support me with your likes and comments. Okay, this one is a life changer. Please, please, please take a note of that because that's important. I want you to be so organized as well. Next one is planning. Planning. Oh my god. I use Google Calendar and it's just a lifesaver. I've tried like many options like Notion, other like to-do lists or like other apps, even like the calendar on my iOS, like on my iPhone, my MacBook. Just Google Calendar is the best because if you like synchronize it with your other devices, you can just open it like however you want. If you're a manager, like adds your work to your calendar that's gonna just make it much easier you can add other people's calendar to your calendar as well so it helps me a ton of time i'm attending lots of events that i want to attend i'm not forgetting those important tasks that i have to do i plan like majority of like important things like my work my classes or like doing youtube thing or maybe um going to gym so i don't like plan minute to minute but i write 
but I write all of the important things that I have to do over the course of the day. So please do that. If you don't know how to do that, just go to Play Market or like App Store, uh, download Google Calendar and synchronize it to your other devices as well. So please plan your day effectively. Okay, the next one is a little bit controversial. You might say, oh, Nagina, I don't do that. I, I feel much better without this, but it's just my experience. It's just how I felt. So I want you to respect my subjective opinion. So I started praying every single night before sleeping. It has been, um, I don't know how many days, but like it, it has been helping me a lot because, you know, uh, living in a living international student life here abroad, it's not just easy i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna remember these days for my whole life so um sometimes it just gets hard right you talk to your parents you talk to your friends you talk to your significant other it doesn't matter but like eventually you have those stuff that you cannot tell anyone right whenever i feel overwhelmed these days i'm feeling much overwhelmed with the work studies and then with my family like friends and stuff like all of the problems are coming in my my body my soul wants me to pray and come close to god and talk like uh, pray and then just tell what's happening like how am i feeling what should i do so all of these things are helping me to get better like mentally and emotionally as well so i'm much stronger um, I'm not that naive, weak girl anymore because of the prayers, I believe, that I'm having before sleeping. So during the time, I don't usually have time to pray, but night is the best time to do that. So I highly recommend you guys to do that as well. It's going to help you in many, many ways. So please, no matter your religion, just find the time to pray and um, you can see the changes like in days, in months, in, in minutes. I don't know. It's gonna help you a lot, believe me. Okay, the last one is one of the most important ones, I believe. So last semester, I was like a very, very alone student. Not, I'm not gonna say lonely because I, I'm, I wasn't lonely. I was just alone. I liked being alone. I enjoyed my time alone. But sometimes it, something here was not enough. You know what I mean? So this is where I made the change. I started eating with people. I, I started hanging out with my friends like almost every single evening we eat with my friends no matter their background i have some turkish friends iliad kuktenis khan so almost every single evening we're eating with my friends and like you know discussing life in general like college stuff student related things they're also international students some of them are from here too so we exchange ideas and we feel much better we socialize we talk a lot so this is one of the best important things that I started doing this year, I believe, because people are meant to be with people. We're not meant to be alone. So um, start spending time with people, like invite your friends on dates, like let's just have some coffee or like um, talk about some things, you know, because we feel better with people. Yeah. This is your time to share your favorite habits on the comments because this is just my experience. This is what I felt. This is what I'm doing right now. But I want to know your experience. What are you doing to get the best of 2024? And let me know on the comments. I'll be reading every single comment. So um, I love you all. Please share the video with your friends and then like it, write a comment, subscribe. All of them are very, very important for me. Thanks for staying and bye-bye. Спасибо вам большое. Я вас обожаю, ребята.